guys yes i'm going to say it again happy valentine's day <laughs> yes yes and yes before we went on break we told you that we're bringing an artist in the building who does everything about love ah god love is you know when i was going air. to this guy's instagram page i was asking myself Kilo love is in the this, air. Kind of, this kind of person that would sing for you and you want to fall in love you will love love, love by force by fire air. Air. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> you will love love by force by fire is amazing is talented is ah give him any name you want to give to him Mitch is jealous but fully packed give him any I name know. Yeah, you I, love, love. No, I love 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 i mean does he love love? love love is in the air oh, oh, oh. today our guest is damilola makindi also known as the musical, musical being how you doing i'm very well thank you very the much. lover boy <laughs> are you a lover boy <laughs> no not a feeling voice not seeing voice i'm very well thank you well, well, the I'm, musical being are you a lover boy i, I don't know if you uh, classify me as a lover boy but i do love love songs mm. and i do love love itself mm. yeah. are, you, are you in a relationship ah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> relax, relax. <laughs> no, you have to answer his question. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> uh, 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 I'd, I'd like to be uh, neutral on that. No, I like to be neutral. Uh, you don't like to disclose your uh, relationship uh, status. I, I, like, I, like. I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, don't kill you. <laughs> so today is Valentine's Day and we are talking about love. Yeah. Love, how important is love to you? Yes, mm -hmm. my audience. But let's bring it back to you. You do love songs. Yeah, I do. How important is love, love to, to you? Uh, love is very integral for someone like me. I, I think I'm a very emotional person, oh. and um, I, I feel love is what makes the world go round. Okay. You know, it, it's it's what makes people do things for each other. It's what makes you know people find fulfillment in quote. Mm -hmm. I feel love is very important um, in everything that we do, um, uh, regardless of what kind of love it is. It could be romantic love, it could be love between yourself and a parent. Love is what makes everything go around. Oh. So it's very important for me. Looking at our today's world, yes. would you say people are loving love? Would you say love is important? In today's era. In, in today's, today's era. Like the Gen Z. Then. The Gen, are, you, are you a Gen Z? Uh, 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 no, I'm not a Gen Z. Oh, you don't like to classify yourself as a Gen Z. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry. <laughs> Would you say love is important? Uh, it depends on the context, though. It depends on the context. But I, I feel regardless, love love is important in anything that we do. It, it, it is definitely important. It, it, without love like genuine love, you, there's no way you would do something that is right by someone. There's no way you would um, uh, choose the right things for, for people, uh, people that you think you, you like or you desire. And, all. and there's no way you even do right by yourself if, there, if there's no love in, in what you're doing. So love, mm. I, I feel love is very important. Though, Beautiful. you know, the, uh, <laughs> these days, um, people have, uh, the definition of love is not very relative. To a lot of people, you know, um, people, uh, for example, people attach um, material things a lot mm -hmm. to love these mm -hmm. days. Ah, you know, so. It's supposed to work hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. So but you know, the way the way it, uh, the project the way the projection is these Thank days. Thank you very much, my brother. Time, like, the projection is more on the material, material things, things as opposed mm. to ac the actual feeling, the feeling. or you know, what, or like what actually love is, like the devotion, the essence to, uh, you know, of it. The essence That's of why the I'm, I'm happy when you said genuine. Yeah. yeah, love. Yeah. Um, today, today is Valentine's Day. Yeah. So, when was the last time you gave somebody a Valentine gift? It's necessarily not. It should necessarily not be a woman. Mm. Probably, like you said. Yeah. There's a mother. You said something about mother to son. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, when was the last time you gave someone a Valentine gift, or when was the last time you received received a Valentine's? Uh, to be honest, I received a Valentine's gift uh, just yesterday. Oh God. <laughs> Ah, they gave you pre Valentine gift too. Am I am I a toothpick? Am I am I a wood god? God, you see, God when? Am I a 
play mantis. How can they be giving you free? <laughs> and they've not given you me know, lady yeah, free. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, I tell you we see the uh, we see the Valentine's gift. Yes, I was I, and it was it was something that caught me unawares wow. and like and it was it, it, meant, it meant a lot to me. Wow. Because uh, I, I I usually I'm usually someone that keeps to myself. So a lot of people <laughs> really don't find me, but that person was able to find me and you know, uh, give you um, hey. catch you like this. I'm love story. You, uh, Come so on. It, it really it really meant a lot to <laughs> me. Okay. So, so let's speak of if I have when when last did I give a Valentine's gift? I I to be honest, I don't think I have exactly given a Valentine's see gift. See life. Maybe he has not just found. Maybe he has just not found that person. You don't need to give to somebody your insignificant order. Okay, correct. Like, uh, well, well, what, so what I'm actually now saying is that um, I haven't actually like given a Valentine's gift, but I think the intention of like Valentine is, you know, giving for the sake of love. Love. I know. Yeah. So, I, I, but I think around that time, I've definitely, you know, giving like something. exchanged Exchange something, something. You know, something, like giving someone something out for, you know, for the sake of the season. season. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, uh, during, I think during the last Valentine, I did something, I, I, I run something normally though, it's called Courtsy Calls. So um, people reach out to me when they have, like, um, for example, if they have someone celebrating their birthday or something, mm -hmm. so they reach out to me to uh, place a serenade call to that person. So, like, are you singing uh, for the person? Yeah, I sing for the person and uh, just say sweet that's thing. That's a good thing, though. Ah, Mitch, you know, do this one for uh, me. And just, morning, you know. I just, you know, say, no, good, say sweet things to them. You see now. what your mate are doing. He's just saying, I'm just saying, I'll package now. <laughs> You're just saying, of which, but you the can do it at night. Yeah, speak start, to I'll, him and be after this. Do it after this. Speak to him. After this, we'll So, if he call me, you just have, you never finish. You got it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. You, you actually like you actually like compose this song yeah or it's, or it's like a random thing no no, no. I, I compose the song they, because they tell me beforehand so i, I compose a special song for that person mm. you know when i get their details and also you know so I compose the song to fit just for them and you know sing it for them you see over for me phone. tonight i don't even compose just and sing sing one that's existing Mitch will call you don't worry <laughs> me, you, are, you will call him let's talk about your career yeah, yeah. you sing love songs yeah I do what that. inspires you to sing love songs Mm, mm. Uh, you know, growing up, I, I really was, um, um, at, I, I grew up uh, as a very deep lover of music. Okay. Um, um, not, uh, let's take away the love part of it, like, I grew up loving music because okay. my popsy used to be in the choir at some point and you know, my mom also used to be in the choir at some point too. So, um, I grew up listening to people like Sonia D. You know, um, Don Moen, uh, Jim Reeves, and the likes. So, what exactly drew me to love songs was when I went on a uh, holiday to one of my uncles, uh, my favorite uncle. I went to his place, and uh, as at that time, he just got married. You know, so he used to play Westlife oh. to his wife every single day. Yeah. Wow. So you know, I love the the atmosphere, the Thank ambience you. around. Do people, do people, still, people still do that as yeah. an act of service these I, days. They do. Really? You know, yeah. Like I, I don't understand how was he playing it. Like like he would play it like in, in the, the car, in or? the car, in the house. Wow. Like it was just, and you you see them dance to it sometimes. Hey. You know, so it, it was <laughs> it was like I experienced romance, right? Fr first like hand. first hand. You understand? So. It meant a lot to me. Sounds, like, sounds so weird at you know, this time, right? You at know, time, you know right? I, yeah, I, like, I was, I was barely probably six or seven then, yeah. and I was really, really little then. So, but it made like it really touched my heart that you know people, uh, they, um, people attached so much you know essence to music, mm -hmm. like because that music seemed to like create their a world for them. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just i just wanted to do so, stuff like that to you know make people feel in the mood and just make Dance. people that and uh, geeky and, and stuff. happy yeah, yeah.